Here is the all new 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 LT. The Chevrolet Silverado 2500 Heavy Duty gets a facelift in 2024, solidifying its position as the market leader for heavy duty trucks. And you've got tons of room in both rows, so driving around with a bunch of adults is no problem in this. Rivals from Ford and Ram provide more luxurious options, but they do come at a price. And with a standard V8 engine, a comfortable ride, and one of the greatest trailing applications in its class, the Silverado 2500 maintains its exceptional value. In this video, I'll be going over what trims are available with the Silverado 2500s, what safety features you get with this LT trim, the exterior, the interior, the infotainment system, and the pricing. If you guys are new here, my name is Jason and I do reviews on vehicles here in Canada, so be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Starting with the different trims that you can get when it comes to the Chevy 2500, there are four trims to pick from. This will be the WT, Custom, LT and the LTZ trims. And these trims will be four wheel drive, but you can also get them in two wheel drive. Also, you can get different configurations like a regular cab, double cab standard or long bed, and a crew cab standard or a long bed. Each of these trims will have their own unique features and options as well as exterior looks and interior looks. Now, as for the safety features you will get with the LT trims, this includes the automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking, lane departure warning, following distance indicator forward collision alert and teen driver taking a look at what powers this lt standard you get the 6.6 .6 liter v8 gas engine but you do get two other options like the 6.6 .6 liter duramax turbo diesel v8 engine one of them has the 10 speed automatic and the other one has the integrated power takeoff but the gas engine gives you 401 horsepower and 464 pound foot of torque and for the towing capabilities on this truck and if you're not using like a fifth wheel or a gooseneck so with this double cab standard standard bag configuration in four wheel drive and with the 3.73 axle ratio you can tow about 14,500 pounds when equipped properly here's what the front of the new 2500 hd looks like i think it has a much better sleeker look to it now you've got tons of chrome all over including the front chrome bumper which has actually been changed the middle section is completely different as well and you still have the two front tow hooks and now you get the led fog lights on the sides of the bumper surrounded by gloss black even the top portion of the bumper has a gap unlike before instead the grille is sectioned off in a separate part if that makes sense to you and the grille area is also changed to these smooth horizontal sections the big chrome bar with the chevy logo has the actual logo instead of the lettering like before the lt has the same halogen headlamps and on the hood you still have the non-functional functional vent in chrome and black with the Chevrolet lettering. Also on the hood are the sections with the Allison transmission 6.6 .6 liter badging. Up top, this truck also has the added LED marker lights. Coming to the side of the LT, this truck is in the double cab standard bed configuration, which does give you less room in the back. Around the windows, it's all black trim and you do get the body color door handles. The side mirrors are also black as well with the lights on the back. Plus on the front, you do have the two different mirrors. On the fender, you have this Z71 badge and that's because this truck does have the Z71 off-road and protection package. On the sides, you'll notice the 2500 HD chrome badging. And as for the wheels, these are your standard 17 inch machined aluminum wheels that are different from the previous year. And you do get the 17 inch all-terrain tires with the z71 package in the middle of the bed you do have the built-in side steps now coming to the rear of the lt nothing has really changed back here for 2024 like the front back here you also have a chrome bumper and on the corners will be more built-in steps the middle you've got the hitch and above are the usual towing outlets on the tailgate will be the chrome silverado badge the big Chevrolet lettering and the chrome LT badge. On the tailgate handle will of course be your rear camera and for the taillights it's just the normal non-LED taillights. And opening up the tailgate and with the Z71 package you do get the spray on bed liner. Also back here you have the hooks on each of the corners along with the LED bed lighting that is included with the convenience package and a 120 volt outlet. On the rear glass, there's no power sliding window, so you just have one massive glass. Coming into 
the rear of the 2500, the door trim area is also changed a bit. At the bottom, there is a good amount of space with the speaker next to it with chrome around it. The middle area, you have some leather material. And up top, you get this shiny wood trim with chrome trim that you'll notice throughout the interior. And you can see with the double cab, the amount of room you get back here is very little compared to a crew cab. And as for the rear seats, you do get cloth seating as standard and these are pretty comfy. Also, there's no center area where you usually have the rear cup holders. Lifting up the seats, this opens up a bit of storage room, but again, it's not like the crew cab configuration. Behind the driver and passenger seats are matte pockets for more small storage, and on the rear console is just the venting, USB ports, and a 12 volt outlet. Now coming to the front of the LT, it's like the rear but with a slightly bigger area at the bottom and a much bigger speaker. Plus, this truck does come with the standard six speaker system, so there's no upgrades here. Then are the usual window and side mirror controls. And as for the front seats, standard, you do get the bench seat setup. And since this truck has the heat package, the front seats do come heated. Also, you can either get an all black interior just like this one, or you can get kind of this beige and brown interior. And each of these options are either available in cloth or leather options. The driver's seat does come power adjustable. And again, this is with the convenience package. There's also the Z71 badge on the floor mats, which is a nice little touch. Underneath are just the pedals and hood latch release. Above and in the new area are the electronic parking brake, different modes, exterior light, cluster dimmer, and the front light controls. And the steering wheel is manual adjustable. Entering inside the Silverado, the dashboard has hard and soft material. And then you've got this new fully digital cluster area, which you find on the 1500s. And I think this is very nice looking compared to its competitors. Plus, it's pretty sharp and responsive. On here, you have these nice details. And there's all sorts of things that you can display about the truck. And each of these menus will have more things within them. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and is also heated, which is with the heated groove package. On the left side will be the cruise control forward collision distance and heated steering wheel controls. The other side has the Bluetooth, phone and cluster controls. Behind the steering wheel are also media controls along with the wiper controls and the shifter. Now this is what the bench seat center area looks like when the seat is down. You have some open space at the top and opening this area there is some okay storage space. Also you have like different sections of open storage spaces along with the cup holders. Then is all of this area which is now like the 1500s and of course new for the 2500s. Here is the trailer brake controller and the usual temperature controls plus the heated seat buttons for the front along with the two USB ports. Above you have more of that nice wood and chrome trim that stretches across. Then you've got these two media controls and a few buttons like the lane keep, tailgate, hazard, traction control and the hill descent control buttons. Then you have this super sleek and nice looking 13.4 inch touchscreen with Google built in. On the left side these are the same menus as on the screen itself. Plus, there is a smaller screen to the right. On here is the audio for your AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, Google News, USB, Alexa, and podcasts. Then is the map section, which is the Google Maps. Then you've got the phone section once you have it paired. Then you've got the camera section, so you can just see the rear view camera. Swiping over to the next section will be the trailering section where you can add trailers. Then you've also got the climate section and you can use the screen or the buttons below. Moving on to the settings section where you can fine tune other settings on the truck. Then there are other applications like the Wi-Fi hotspot, Alexa, My Chevy, Podcast, and Google News. On the smaller screen, you can view other things as well. Now above the screen is a bit more open space for things. Up top is the mirror, interior lights, OnStar, and SOS. Here is the key fob and what it looks like for the LT. Now coming around to the passenger side, you have more of the wood and chrome trim. Plus you've got this section that does open up for extra storage room and you've already got the glove compartment which you can use as well. Here's the window sticker for the Silverado 2500 LT. You've got the standard stuff and the optional things added to this truck. The MSRP you see is in Canadian dollars and this may be minus any dealer discounts and manufacturer rebates if they're being offered. Well that does it for the review on this all new 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 LT. Let me know what you think of this truck. Do you love it or do you hate it?